Hi everyone, this is Nicole for Spellbinders and today I'm sharing a sympathy card created with the May 2019 Glimmer Hot Foil Kit of the Month. This beautiful, beautiful filigree frame creates the frame, it has the oval die for the center and even the accents on top. I'm pairing this with the large die of the month club kit dies, the beautiful little florals, and also some um, great fun stampers journey stamps and cardstock. We're going to start by placing that stunning large filigree frame on our Glimmer hot foil system plate. We're going to use the foil that comes with the May kit. This is the polished brass foil. And we're going to lay that with the dull side up, and that's going to foil our cardstock. I've already run it through the machine. And it's foiled this Fun Stamper's Journey Peaches and Cream cardstock with this beautiful foiled brass effect. Really, really pretty. There are a couple of places that have a little overfoiling that can be easily removed with a sand eraser. In addition, I'm also going to foil the two little bracket images. I'm going to place them on the outer sides of my filigree frame, but you could also place them anywhere or use them on their own. I'm going to trim down a couple of smaller pieces of the polished brass foil and run those through with the scrap of the Peaches and Cream Fun Stampers Journey cardstock. I'm also going to line up that oval die in the center of the filigree frame and die cut that little opening from the center. I'm going to go ahead and keep not only the center piece or the outside frame, but the center piece as well. And that's just going to be used to create some additional dimension. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment on this oval in the center. I trimmed down my background to even it up a little bit. I always like to foil on a larger piece than what I'm actually going to end up using. So it gives me some room to trim it down. I'm going to remove the foil for these little bracket pieces and we'll die cut those with the coordinating die that comes in the Glimmer Hot Foil Kit of the Month for May. You're getting the three hot foil plates, two dies, and a roll of hot foil for $20. It's a really great deal. I'm playing around with some different options for my card. I thought I might try to pardon me, implement some vellum and I decided ultimately that I didn't really like that. So what I'm going to do is take my frame and use it as a guide to secure the oval in the center of my white card base. Once I have that down, I'm going to place my base in a misty, and I'm going to stamp the sentiment with sympathy, with sympathy from the Fun Stamper's Journey inside and out stamp set with a clear embossing ink and heat emboss with the antique gold embossing powder. I wanted it to be very elegant and to coordinate with the foiled frame. Once I have my embossing powder in place, I did remove some stray flakes with a dry paintbrush. I want the inside of the card to coordinate. Because this fun stamper's journey inside and out stamp set is made to work on both the front and inside of the card, I'm going to open up the card and go ahead and stamp a sentiment or a phrase inside so that when the recipient opens the card, it has a beautiful greeting inside as well as out. The inside sentiment reads, today and always, May loving memories comfort you and bring you peace. I think this is a beautiful way to um, create a sympathy card, and I can see using these sentiments on multiple card designs. I really love this inside and out stamp set. I've also stamped this with a clear embossing ink, and I'm heat embossing with that same antique gold embossing powder. Once I have that done, we are ready to put it all together. I'm going to put some foam adhesive on the back of my filigree frame and pop this up on the front of my card. It's going to give it just a little bit of dimension where that oval is flat on the card. Then we have the dimensional filigree frame. We will add foam adhesive on the back of the brackets and line those up with that same area on our actual frame. 
You could also use these to bracket the oval in the center if you wanted to. I'm using some foam adhesive squares to secure this to the outer edges of the frame. I'm going to do this on both sides and I've also pre die cut a bunch of florals from the large die of the month club kit dies. You can see those over on the right side of the screen. I love mixing and matching the different club kits every month to create unique designs. They're all made to work and mix and match with each other so well and other spellbinders dies that you already have on hand. I'm using my mat here with the foam side up and a stylus tool to give my flowers a little bit of texture. I'm using both the large and the small sizes of flowers from the large die of the month club kit as well as the leaves. I've die cut my flowers from watermelon fusion, orange creamsicle, pineapple smoothie, whipped cream, and lemongrass cardstocks. I'm going to go ahead and lay out the flowers the way I think I want them to look and then I will secure everything with some liquid adhesive. I always like to lay it out first so that I make sure and have enough of the design I can always fill in with extra later and that way I kind of have a good idea of where everything is going to go. Once I have those flowers laid out I'm going to use some liquid adhesive. I'm using a glue tube and a crystal katana which is just a tool that helps pick up small embellishments like sequins and gems or small die cut pieces and put them in place. I'll add a small dab of glue and then simply tap my little flowers and leaves into place. I will also use a pair of tweezers which I find really useful for adding leaves. I can put a little bit of glue on the back and then using the tweezers kind of tuck them underneath my florals. This works especially well with little pieces like this. Tweezers and the Crystal Katana are my two favorite tools for working with small die cuts. My frame isn't going to be exactly symmetrical. I'm going to have different groupings of flowers. The flowers on the sides are pretty similar, the ones that will be on the left and the right, but at the top and the bottom they're going to be a little different and I'm even going to adhere additional flowers in the center of the frame to kind of tie it all together and fill in some of that white space. We're going to add some Nouveau Crystal Drops in bright gold to the center of all of the flowers to give it the illusion that they've got some little gold gemstones in the center. This also ties into the polished brass of the foiling and the antique gold of the embossing. I have a few flowers left over and I'm going to fill in with just some of the small ones here and there. I think we'll add maybe one or two more and then I can save the rest of the flowers for another project. I usually have a little tin on my desk where I save any extra little pieces that I can pull out. In fact, these white flowers were actually from another project where I didn't use all of the flowers I die cut, so I was able to grab those and pull them and add them to this card today. Here's a look at the finished card design, the beautiful foiling, and then the stamping on the front and on the inside. Thank you so much for joining me today for this Glimmer of the Month Hot Foiled card featuring the new Spellbinders Hot Foil of the Month kit for May 2019. The supplies I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Spellbinders that you might be interested in. Thanks for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.